Good evening. Hello, guys. Good evening, everybody. Good to see you. Welcome back. I hope you had a great weekend ride. Welcome, Wendy, Alejandra, maybe. Thank you so much for coming early. Dora, too. Roxana, Dennis, Gabriela, and Jose. Welcome back, guys. OK, let's make uh, this review that we have always before starting the class. Okay, let's go to the lesson that we have for today. Let me know if you can see my screen. No sé si pueden ver my screen. Yes. The presentation, can you see the presentation? Yes. Okay. Okay, perfect, there you go. Okay, so let's make a review, okay. Each of you is going to tell me what you learned in the previous class, right? Cada uno me va a decir lo que aprendió la clase pasada. Okay, let's start with um, Roxana. What thing did you learn last class? ¿Qué es lo que aprendió la clase de la semana pasada? Um, uh -huh. Acerca de this. Del tag, del top, y del tag. Mm -hmm. We have those. Yes, right. These two. Okay, very good, Roxana. Estos son los the most, right? Okay, we have one topic. Okay, another, another aspect, Gabriela, what did you learn in the class? Tell me. Examples, sentences, instructions. Uh -huh. The demonstratives, the, the, the vocabulary, new vocabulary. Okay, give me three words, please. Three words. Uh, supplies, uh, waste, waste paper, and drawers. Yes, waste paper, right? Waste paper and drawers. Yeah, perfect. Okay, thank you, Gabriela. So, 
give me another topic, uh, Alejandra, about what we studied the last class. Hello, Alejandra. Hello, perdón, no tenía activado el micrófono. Okay, no problem. Hello, uh, demonstrative uh, singular y plural. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. And this, that, uh, this is, this is? This is, no, okay, this is right. It's those. Those are, again, yeah, those are. Okay, very good. Thank you, Alejandra. Okay, thank you. Listen, okay. Another person, what can, what else can you add? Let's see, Jose Gomez, please. Tell me, what is another aspect, another topic that we learned in the previous class? Um, good morning. Hello? Hello, hello, yes, good evening, uh, Jose. Mm -hmm. Um, spell. Oh, the spelling, the spell. right. yes. The spell, um, el, this, those, mm -hmm. had, his, um, um, so, so. Mm -hmm. um, el, el, that, el, this, mm -hmm. y el, those, y this, mm -hmm. so, so, eso, más o menos. Yeah. Me costó yeah. un poquito, me costó un poquito. Ok, ok, don't worry, uh, these topics siempre los estamos reforzando en cada módulo, right? So, <coughs> it's good that you can learn this, that you can remind yourself. Ok, thank you, Jose. So, um, what can you do? Solo, uh -huh. por si me estoy desconectando, fíjate, todavía estamos trabajando dictámenes fiscales acá y todavía me está tocando trabajar a esta hora de la noche porque el sitio de Hacienda está pero de la patada. Entiendo, entiendo, yes. Así que, sorry okay. por si me desconecto un rato. Ok, no problem, ok, gracias por informarnos, José, thank you. Ok, let's continue with the class and uh, uh, let me just uh, share with you this. Let's see. Ok, let's have uh, this review, right? You're going to choose um, one question. Vamos a elegir una pregunta y en base to that question you are going to answer. Okay, let's go. Magali, please, can you choose a number? Let's see, a number. Can you see the screen? Hello, Magali. Hola. Hola. Okay, can you choose a number? Que coja un número, ¿verdad? Yes. Okay. Um, three. Okay, we have number three. Okay, vamos a responder this question. Is your room big? Is your room big? Is uh your -huh. room big? Uh -huh. No sé qué me está preguntando ahí. ¿Es tu cuarto grande? Is your room big? Uh -huh. Tengo problemas con, con el audio, no le, no le oí bien. Oh, es inestable uh -huh. mi conexión. Okay. No problem. Eh, la pregunta es si ¿sí su cuarto es grande. ¿Is your room big? ¿Is your room big, Magali? Ok. Um, ¿Eh? Yes. My, no sé si es my... Room, room, no sé. Yes. No sé, me pongo nerviosa. Yes, no problem. Me está bien, bastante bien. Podemos responderlo. Yes, my room is big. O de la otra forma. Yes, it is, right? Yes, it is. Las dos formas están correctas. Ok, muy bien, Magali. Very good. Let's listen another, let's see, Jonathan, can you choose a number, please? Can you choose a number? Good evening. Hello, good evening, Jonathan. Can you choose a number, please? Five. Okay, number five. Is your mother a doctor? Is your mother a doctor? Not. My mother mm 
Mm -hmm. No. No my, reason. My mother is not doctor. Okay, very good. Podemos responderlo de esta forma, right? De la forma larga. No, my mother is not a doctor. O no, she isn't, right? La forma corta. No, she isn't. Okay, esto es parte del verb to be, right? Parte de lo que vimos la semana pasada del verb to be. Okay, let's listen another person. Let's go. Let's see. Wendy, please go ahead. Can you give me a number, please, Wendy? Hello, teacher. 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 Hello, Not. Yeah, perfect, right? Como estamos hablando de the weather, que la respuesta corta. No, it isn't, right? It is raining. It is raining. <coughs> okay, very good. Thank you, Wendy. Okay, let's listen to another person. Um, let's see. Karina, Karina, can you choose a number, please, Karina? Six. Okay, number, let's go with number six. Are your parents strict? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Are your yes. parents strict? Strict yes, very strict. Mm. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes, I am. I mother <laughs> strict. <laughs> I am mother strict. <laughs> you know, mama strict. <laughs> mother. Okay, very good. Okay, perfect. In this, in this case, estamos hablando de your parents, right? Pues, sus padres. Entonces, Lía, yes, they are right. Estamos hablando de ellos. Okay, very good, Karina. Thank you. Let's go with the next one. Dennis, please, can you choose a number? Hi. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Um, number seven. Number seven. Let's see. Number seven. Are you a sportsman? Alguien que le gusta hacer exercise. Sportsman. No, I am not. Okay, perfect. No, I am not. Five. Okay, very good. So, yeah. No. I'm not or no, I'm not. In case of you still see lo es, right? Yes, I am. Okay, excellent. Okay, let's listen uh, right now, maybe. Okay, maybe, can you please choose a number? Hello. Hello, maybe? Number four. Number four, okay, let's see. Is your school bag white? La mochila, right? Your school bag. Yes, I am. Okay, yes, it is, right? Very good. Okay, thank you, maybe. Como estamos hablando de la mochila, right? Es un objeto. Yes, it is. Okay, very good. Thank you, maybe. Okay, let's listen to another person. Let's see. Victor, please. Can you choose a number, Victor, please? Eight. Eight. Okay, perfect. Are your friends good? Are your friends good? Yeah. Yes, I am. Entonces, yes, they are. Okay, very good, Victor. En el caso que no, no lo sean, no sean unos buenos amigos, ella no, they Um, yes, tenemos ahí friends. Okay, very good. Okay, thank you, Victor. Okay, let's listen another person. Let's see. Um, Sofia, please. Sofia. Can you choose a number? Oh, hello, Sofia. Mm -hmm. 
Now, number one. Number one. Okay, let's see. Are you 10 years old? <laughs> no, I'm not 10 years old. Okay, perfect. Yes, right. Thank you. I said, yes, I am. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, no, right. No, I'm not. Right. No, I am not. Right. ¿Tienes 10 años? No, no tengo, right. I am, vamos a agregar, I am 25, 21, etc. I am 21 years old. Okay, thank you, Sofia. Okay, let's, I don't know if you have questions about this activity. No sé si tengamos alguna duda. Tengamos cuidado eh, con los sujetos, right? Porque de acuerdo a esos sujetos, nosotros debemos ver. Eh, por ejemplo, tenemos is the weather. Estamos hablando de weather. Vamos a utilizar it. Tenemos el otro caso, is your room. Estamos hablando del cuarto, right? Vamos a utilizar it. Entonces, tengamos cuidado con los sujetos porque de acuerdo a eso, ¿cómo vamos a responder? ¿Ok? Ok, guys, perfect. Let's continue with class. Este es el verbo to be, así que como lo eh, repasando. Mi consejo es que si ustedes tienen algún amigo que, que hable inglés, eh, se trate de, de platicar con él. Si no tiene algún amigo, pues hay aplicaciones también donde usted puede intercambiar. Usted puede español y la otra persona puede inglés y ustedes se ayudan. Hay muchas aplicaciones que les permiten hacer eso. Ok, let's continue with the topic that we have for today let's see okay so the topic for today is um the simple present affirmative and negative statement vamos a estar viendo el simple present right the simple present Ok, in this topic vamos a ver lo que es el simple present. Simple present es con, con lo que usted utiliza por ejemplo, para describir actividades diarias. Eh, por ejemplo, ¿qué es lo que normalmente hacemos durante el día? Eh, me levanto a las 4 a.m. todos los días. Entonces, todas estas son como sus rutinas, lo que usted hace. Me cepillo a las 9 de la mañana. Yo me duermo a las 10 de la noche. Yo tengo clases de 8 a 10 de la noche. Entonces, todas esas son eh, tus Por ejemplo, eh, teacher, por ejemplo, eh, I, I, I get up at uh, uh -huh. 5 p.m. Exactly. I o I, I, así. No Exacto. Sé. Son rutinas. I, I get up at 5 a.m., right? Ok, exacto, son sus rutinas. Ok, so let's see what this topic is about. No sé si hay alguna duda con el simple present, el uso. No. Teacher, yo tengo una duda acerca de qué, es, qué quiere decir statements. Statements son como Ajá, afirmaciones, sí. negative statements. O son como declaraciones también. Ok. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ok, so let's continue. Vamos a leer this paragraph y aquí vamos a encontrar muchos verbos, right? Ok, let's listen. Can you help me? Um, vamos a ver también vocabulary. There is a lot. Ok, can you help me please? Um, let's see. Volunteers, do I have volunteers to read this? Volunteers? ¿Alguien que quiera leer? Mm -hmm. I am. Okay, perfect, Jose. Thank you. Okay. Uh, a long, early life. On, on the Japanese, on the Japanese island of Okinawa, many people like to be over. Uh, Two thousand years. One thousand yeah. years old. One thousand mm -hmm. year old. Research, research 
and find this is several place around the world, including Sardinia, Hillary, Icaria, Grace, the Nicoya Peninsula of Costa Rica, in Loma Linda, California. Why do people in this are like so some some low some low the ounce where is life still this this list show six lifter still habits they are common in the, this place okay thank you jose so let's check the vocabulary we have the first word the first word that is Healthy, right? Healthy life. This is una vida saludable. Healthy life. Tenemos la siguiente, let's see, in several, right? Several es como muchos, several places around the world. Muchos lugares in the world, right? We have, uh, let's see, areas, right? Areas. Las áreas, right, of certain places. Tenemos el verbo live. Live. Verbo vivir. And uh, lifestyle. Teacher. Es como el estilo de vida. ¿Ya, yes, Sofía? En la palabra que dice researchers. En ah, la... los investigadores, yes. Researchers. Researchers. Tenemos acá también el mismo. Son los que investigan estudios. A person who studies something to learn detailed information. And that is a researcher. Okay. Uh, you know, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, Jonathan. How do you pronounce including? Including. Yes, that's a good one. Including. 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 Okay. Including. Including. Right. Including. Uh, Sardina, Italy, Italia, Greece. Um, okay. Una, any other word? No sé si alguien tiene otra palabra. Ok, en este vamos a ver qué es lo que hacen para las personas to stay healthy. Stay healthy. Okay. What do you do to stay healthy, guys? Stay healthy. What do you do? ¿Qué es lo que hacemos para estar saludable? Stay healthy. What do you do, Gabriela? To stay healthy. Eh. Eat vegetables, eat vegetables, fruit, and a lot of water. Yeah, yeah, right. Vegetables. Drink water too, right? Drink. Well, not too much, right? Because we can have problems. Okay, thank you, Gabriela. So let's continue with the next one. Volunteers, is there someone who wants to read? Yeah, volunteers. Mm -hmm. Hi. Okay, perfect. Go ahead, please. People in these areas move around a lot. They don't exercise in a gym, but then walk a lot during the day. They use their bodies and lives actively. Okay. 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 Sorry. Sorry, Sofia. Vamos a ver. We're going to study the vocabulary. Is there a word here, guys? No? Okay. So, veamos pronunciation, right? These areas. These areas. Then we have, ah, este verbo, this verb. Walk, right? Walk. No pronunciamos la L. Walk. Okay. And tenemos their bodies and live actively. Actively. Okay, actively. Tenemos el verbo live. Live. Si usted lo lee como live, significa, han visto los Facebook live, ponen ahí. Entonces, eso significa en la otra pronunciación en vivo, aunque se escriba igual. Okay, pero dependiendo de la pronunciación va a cambiar el sentido de la palabra. Ok, así que take me with that. Ok, questions about that part? No sé si hay dudas. Uh -huh. En este caso se menciona live o live. Okay, en este caso sería live porque es el verbo. 
pero okay. si ustedes quieren entender, estamos en vivo, we are live, right? We are live. Entonces, cambia el, el, ah, la okay. pronunciación, aunque es la misma escritura. Ok, live. Uh -huh. Live es el verbo, I live, live. Santa Ana, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Ok, thank you. Ok, ok, let's continue with uh, the second one. Who wants to do the second one? Number two. Mm -hmm. Volunteers, guys. I'm... Okay, thank you, Karina. Go ahead, please. Number two. They have a, a purpose in their lives. Some spend time with grandchildren. Others do gardening or volunteer, volunteer work. Okay, so there we have, they have a purpose, right? Proposito in their lives. Um, some spend time with their grandchildren, sus nietos, and others do gardening. No sé si alguna palabra. Jardinería, right? Do garden, gardening or volunteer work. Mm -hmm. No. Okay, so let's continue with number three. Can you, yes, Stephanie, tell me. Uh, they relax every day. They take time to rest and relax. They, uh, eso no sé cómo se, se They rarely, rarely, rarely feel stressed. Oh. Mm -hmm. They rarely feel stressed. Okay, very good. Is there a word here, guys? Alguna palabra? Rarely. Rarely. No sé. Right. Rarely. Rarely. Tenemos. Okay. La pronunciación es going to be rarely. Rarely. Esta es la pronunciación. Okay. Rarely. Uh -huh. Okay, so let's continue with number four. Who wants to read number four? Your teacher. They eat lots of vegetables and they usually, usually not eat meat. Mm -hmm. Okay, there we have, right? Tenemos, they eat lots of vegetables. They usually don't eat meat, right? Es usualmente uh, no comen carne. Imagínense, de tanto que no comen carne, right? Oh my goodness. Okay, what about number four? Let's see who wants to do number four. I'm sorry, five and six. Okay, Raquel, thank you. Go ahead, please. They have. They have many friends. They are part of an active social group. Okay, thank you. Tenemos, they have many friends and they are part of an active social group, right? Y tenemos la última, number six. They feel close to their families. Okay, so I start. No sé, is there a question about this or war maybe? Uh -huh. No. Okay, ahí tenemos lo que debemos hacer, right? Para vivir a lot, right? Do maybe exercise, spend time with our family, relax, right? Eat vegetables. Mm, but not meet, meet and have friends too. Okay, so let's continue. With the part, right, that we are most interesting. Vamos entonces con el, la estructura que, que mencionamos al principio de la clase, que es el simple present. Lo vamos a utilizar para describir, uh, describes, Habits, right? Routines and facts, hechos, facts. Tenemos el ejemplo. In some cultures, people live 
to be 100 years old. These people exercise in it very well. Vamos a ver entonces cómo vamos a hacer estas oraciones. Lo principal, cuando sea una oración afirmativa, eh, por ejemplo, eh, yo tomo café todos los días, me baño, todas esas son oraciones afirmativas. Lo primero que va a ir es el sujeto, the subject. The subject. Luego vamos a utilizar el verbo, the verb. En el caso de I, you, el verbo queda normal. Pero cuando tengamos he, she, and it, vamos a agregarle ese al verbo. Ok, es el mismo verbo, pero cuando estemos hablando de he, she, and it, vamos a utilizar la S en el verbo. Más el complemento, right. ¿Qué pasa si tengo we, you, they? El verbo queda igual. Ok, no sé si hay dudas, estas son las affirmatives. No questions. Ok, vamos a ver entonces. Beach. Vamos a ver este ejemplo entonces. My friend. Veamos. My friend. Uh, let's see. Player. Oh, uh -huh. Player. Oh, el verbo play. Muy bien. El verbo play. Play. Volleyball. ¿Estará bien esa oración? ¿Estará bien? Mm, no. No. ¿Qué, cuál, ¿Cuál es el mistake? Players. Mm. Playing. No. Place. Place, right. Place. Vamos a agregarle S al verbo. Place. Place. ¿Por qué? Porque estoy hablando de mi amigo. Puede ser okay. él o ella. Ok. Vamos a tomar eh, otro ejemplo. My father eats eh, eat, eat, eh, at, at 7 p.m. Eat at 7 Okay. What is, estará bien? Is it correct, that sentence? No. It no. Is. It's, right? Debemos it's. agregarle la S. It. It's. Bien. Eh, si yo tengo my teachers, eat eh, her breakfast. Her breakfast in the morning. It's, it's her. In the morning. Okay, entonces, in this case, ¿estará correcto? Is this correct, the sentence? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is it correct? Yes, correct. Yes, it is right. ¿Por qué? Wow. Fishers. Mm -hmm. It's plural, right? Plural. Yeah. Entonces, no le vamos a agregar nada al verbo. Entraría en, en la categoría de plural type. Ok, do you have okay. questions? This is the, the affirmative statements. Vamos a ver más adelante más reglas cuando estemos utilizando he, she, and meet. Esto es, es muy importante que que lo aprendamos porque lo utilizamos a lot, a lot. Y también algo que también quiero mencionar es que cuando estemos hablando de he, she, it, debemos hacer énfasis en el sonido de la S. It's, right. Eso es very important. Ok, so let's go right now with the negative statements, with the negative ones. En el caso indicates, por ejemplo, yo no me baño a las 10 a.m., yo no como, eh, yo no tengo mi desayuno a las 7, yo no hago esto, no hago el otro. Estos son los negative statements, right? Entonces, para el negative, siempre el subject, el objeto. 
En el caso de I, you, we y they, vamos a utilizar el don't o el do not. Por ejemplo, uh, I don't eat a lot of meat. I don't play basketball. I don't play karate. I don't play soccer. Ok. But, pero en el caso de he, she, it, debemos utilizar no. el doesn't. Doesn't. El doesn't. Y si se fijan acá, el verbo no lleva la S. Ok. El verbo en la forma negativa no le vamos a agregar la letra S. O ES en algunos casos que vamos a ver más adelante. Ok, questions. Lot, ¿qué es, teacher? Mucho, a lot. A, a lot. lot of. Uh -huh. lot. A lot of meat. Uh -huh. Ok. ¿Con los questions, guys, about this part? En plural. Ok. So, I will say a sentence. Yo voy a decir una oración y yo quiero que usted me lo haga en negativo. Por ejemplo, si yo digo, I don't take a shower at 10 a.m. Entonces, yo le voy a preguntar, digamos, a Alejandro. Quiero que usted me haga esa oración en negativo. Entonces, ¿qué me va a decir? She doesn't, o the teacher, o Karina, o Dennis, en este caso, estoy yo, right? The teacher doesn't take a shower at 10 a.m. Ok, guys. Ok, questions, no sé si hay dudas. No, okay, so I will start with my sentence. I, okay, uh -huh. okay, yo voy a hacer, voy a decir una oración. Entonces voy a seleccionar a alguien más y esa persona la va a hacer en negativa utilizando ya sea he o she o el nombre de la persona. Ok. Ok. Utilizando el doesn't right, más verbo. Ok, I'm going to start, voy a empezar with my sentence. I don't play chess. Okay, la negativa, please, eh, Dennis. I don't play chess. Uh -huh. Your microphone, eh, Dennis. Okay. I don't. Okay, usted tiene que utilizar the teacher o she. Ah, oh, okay. Uh -huh. The teacher. Doesn't play chess. Play chess, muy bien. Jugar ajedrez, right? Very good. Ahora quiero que usted me diga una oración en negativo, Dennis, please. I don't. Play the piano. I don't play the piano. ¿Quién va a ser la negativa, Dennis? Vamos a alguien. Who is going to be? Magali. Magali, ok, Magali, please. Qué malvado. Este. ¿Cómo era la pregunta o la negativa? I don't play the piano. No, vale. Yo ocupo el key, según lo que le entendí, yo ocupo el key es. Hacen siempre. ¿Qué hacen? ¿Hacen? La pregunta era de player, ¿verdad? He doesn't. Hace. Hasta ahí me quedé. El he doesn't. No. Uh -huh. <risa> ok. He doesn't. He doesn't. Eh, Aquí está. De, de piano. Muy bien. Ahí estamos, Magali. Very good. Yes. Eso es todo. Ahora quiero que usted me haga una negativa. Ok, una negativa. Uh -huh. I don't, ¿verdad? I don't take um, the train. No, I don't. Uh -huh. Pensando, teacher, pensando. 
I don't take um uh -huh. correr run run uh -huh. es, es, es correcto I don't, I don't run I don't ajá uh -huh. I don't uh -huh. run. Okay. Bien, I don't run. ¿Quién va a ser la negativa? Who is going to make the negative? Escojamos a alguien. Guadalupe. Uh, Guadalupe, ok. Guadalupe. Hello. Ok, hello. Uh -huh. um, the teacher does No, vamos a hablar de Magali, ¿verdad? Magali o she. Yes, uh, she, she, does. she. She does. Uh, she doesn't. Doesn't. Uh -huh. She doesn't uh, running. Uh -huh. She doesn't run. Muy bien. She doesn't run. Ok, ahora su oración en negativa, Dora. No. I don't. I don't. Eh, I don't no. eat. Okay, why not? ¿Por qué? <laughs> I don't eat pupusa. Okay. ¿Quién va a ser la negativa? Who is going to make the negative statement? Escojamos a alguno de los compañeros. Choose a person. I can't. Um, uh, Roxana. Okay, Roxana, please. Vamos a hacerla in negative. Uh -huh. She doesn't eat pupusa. Okay, she doesn't eat pupusa. Very good, Roxana. Now give me your negative sentence. Oración negativa, please. Your negative sentence. I don't like chocolate. I don't like chocolate. Okay, ¿quién va a ser la negativa? Who is going to uh, create? ¿Quién, Roxana? Verónica. Okay, Verónica. Ok, Verónica. Sí, hello, Verónica. Pues, Verónica. No, no, Verónica. Okay, quizás, si podemos elegir another person, please, Roxana. Uh -huh. uh, maybe. Maybe, ok, maybe, please. She doesn't like chocolate. Okay, she doesn't, muy bien, like chocolate. She doesn't like chocolate. Muy bien, thank you, maybe. No sé si hay dudas, questions about this part, guys. Questions? Teacher. Mm -hmm. Yes, Magali. En el caso de esta, el like se agregó, ¿por qué? Porque es comida, es algo de comer. Ella no le gusta. She doesn't like chocolate. Ah, uh -huh. ese, ese sería el verbo, like. En el caso cuando yo dije eh, que me gusta correr, creo, este, el like se lo quitó. No era necesario que lo utilizara. Lo puede utilizar. I like to run, algo que a usted le gusta no, hacer. Oh, okay. Me gusta correr. Uh -huh. yeah. Ok. Uh -huh. Nobody. Yes. Or that's it. No. Ok, guys. So let's move on. Eh, también algo que no se nos va a olvidar es eh, cuando decimos she doesn't. Ok. Tratemos de no mencionar she's, right? She's. Del sonido de la S en este caso, porque ahí estará mala la oración. Okay. So let's continue with some uh, with the following practice. Vamos a hacer this sentence. Vamos a ordenar this sentence. Okay. I'm Vamos sorry. A... Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes. Eh, eh, y si nosotros decimos we don't eat atún, uh -huh. eh, la otra cómo sería? Okay. Está diciendo, we don't, y si alguien que we lo don't. está reporting, right? we don't mm -hmm. eat. Okay. We don't Entonces, eat si hay alguien más que, que, que está diciendo la forma negativa, sería they don't, right? They, they don't. Ellos. Uh 
Okay. Alguien exterior, right? Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so let's continue with this exercise. Vamos a hacer this exercise. Vamos a ordenar, right, this part. Okay, who wants to uh, try the first one? Okay. You try, Jose? Podemos intentar, Jose? Uh -huh. Podemos, can you try? ¿Qué iría primero? What is the first aspect, right? the first part of a sentence? They, they, muy bien, they, they, sí. uh -huh. they keep, uh -huh. they keep company, uh -huh. they track. keep, track, track, uh -huh. track, uh -huh. um, of. finance, financial accounts, Shall, the company. Yeah. Accounts. Oh, very good. Account. The company. Yes. Of, all right. We have of the company. Of companies. Company. Uh -huh. Of companies. Yeah, that, that's right. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, what about number two? Number two? We don't. We, yeah, we don't. We don't. Uh -huh. Advertise. Okay. Advertise. 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 Yeah. On Advertise. the internet. On the internet. We on don't. Internet. Advertise. On the internet. On the internet. Yeah. The internet. company. The company. Oh, we can make a switch, right? We don't. Advertise the company too on the internet. It can be another. Okay. Mm -hmm. That can be another. What about number three? What is going to be the the order? I take. I, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I take. Mm -hmm. okay. I take. Don't. Don't. Notes, my dear. Notes. Notes. Every day in the meeting. Mm -hmm. Every day in the meetings, right? Yeah. And then we have the last one. What is going to be? Carlos and Mauricio. Carlos and Mauricio. Answer. Answer, yes, right. Answer. Answer from at the reception. Mm -hmm. Answer the phone, yeah, at the reception. Okay, perfect. Okay, ahí está, the negative and affirmative, right. Okay, so ahora vamos a ver lo que son las reglas en el caso de he, she, and me. Okay, esas reglas las utilizamos a la So let's have a look eh, acerca de las rules, right? Okay, so we have el simple present, ya vimos, right? Para actividades que hacemos con regularidad, regularly. Como habits or routines, ya vimos eso. También ah, vamos a agregar más palabras al vocabulary. Tenemos la palabra every day. Tenemos in the morning, in the afternoon, evening, at night. And, uh, y utilizando una time expression que sería at. Se las podemos agregar al final. Vamos a ver más adelante eh, qué otro lugar tienen estas frequency adverbs. Por el momento podemos agregar estas palabras to our vocabulary. Tenemos every day. Eh, todos los días, every day, cada Saturday, in the afternoon, at night, and at 6.30. En el caso de los días también, vamos a utilizar on, on Saturdays, o go to church, por ejemplo, los sábados, voy a la iglesia. On weekends, 
estar eh, on con la expresión weekends, que son los fines de semana. Para indicar un tiempo, vamos a utilizar from, desde, from 8 hasta 2, 2, 5 p.m., right? Tenemos más expressions que son in the summer, in June. En el caso que tengamos meses, vamos a utilizar in. Okay. That is very important. Okay, no sé si hay dudas about this part. Questions? So let's continue with this part, right? Hey, recordemos que a la mayoría de los verbos, cuando estemos hablando de he, she, and it, vamos a agregar s. That is the rule. For example, drinks, writes, runs, sees, sleeps. En el caso que un verbo termine en una, en una vocal, right? Una vocal, a, e, i, o, u, le damos más, más la y, más la y, le vamos a agregar s. Okay. Acá el verbo termina en U, más la Y, vamos a agregarle S. Por ejemplo, buys, comprar, pays, pagar, right, says, D. Tenemos el, el otro ejemplo, cuando, when a verb ends, termina con CH, eh, SH, SS, y a kids, le vamos a agregar ES al verbo. Yes, Dennis, tell me. Perdón, ¿en qué uh -huh. momento vamos a aplicar esta regla? Cuando tengamos he, she, and it, right? Okay. Okay. Cuando estemos hablando de he, she, and it, he, she, and it, vamos a aplicar estas reglas. Uh -huh. Ok, so, tenemos el siguiente ejemplo. Estos son verbos como un poquito irregulares. Se pueden decir el verbo do y el verbo go. A eso le vamos a agregar es. And, tenemos el siguiente caso, cuando un verbo termina en una consonante más la y, vamos a cambiar esto por eh, i, e, s. El verbo llorar, right? Cry, cries. Tenemos el otro verbo, study, right? Studies. Por ejemplo, uh, digamos, Roxana. Roxana studies. English from 8 to 10 p.m. Uh -huh. Estamos aplicando la regla, right? En el caso de los verbos irregulares que ya vimos, el verbo to be, que sería a miss are, que ya, ya lo estudiamos, y tenemos el otro caso del have y el has. El has lo vamos a utilizar con he, she, he. Y el have con I, you, we, y they. No sé si tengamos dudas. Questions. Teacher. ¿Esta, esta información está en el libro? No, esta información no. Ah, y esta y no que, la puede Se la voy a compartir en el grupo también. Uh -huh. Ok, gracias. Ok. Estamos, tomemos el ejemplo de has. Si yo quiero decir, por ejemplo, Víctor. Victor have a car. ¿Estará bien si yo digo Victor have a car? No. No, porque Victor es he, ¿verdad? Entonces puedo utilizar has. has. Yes, that is uh, very important. Okay, no questions about this part. ¿Qué pasa si tengo, por ejemplo, my father? And I has a stereo. ¿Estará bien? No. No, right. Why? Tiene que utilizar have. Yes, I have to use have. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, no sé si hay dudas, questions about this part. Mm -hmm. No questions, guys. No? Okay. So let's practice. Vamos a estar Teacher. practicando. Yes, Sofía. Esto sería cuando estemos hablando en plural, ¿verdad? En plural, de, así de es. De las personas. Mm -hmm. okay. En plural, vamos a utilizar have, ¿ok? Y cuando tengamos he, she, and it, has. 
¿ok? En el caso del verbo tener, right? Vamos a utilizar he, she, it, con has. Como pongamos we, you, they, I, vamos a utilizar have. Yo tengo, ella tiene, nosotros tenemos, etc. Uh -huh. Questions or no? No. Okay, so let's let's practice. Vamos a practicar en there. Uh, you are going to see if you have any doubts. Yo voy a estar pasando all these um, some questions. Okay, la primera actividad, you are going to complete this part with your own information, right? Vamos a completar esta información. Okay, right now, lo vamos a hacer ahorita. Y luego vamos a estar compartiendo this information with your classmates. Vamos a completarla en este momento. Les voy a dar unos um, three to five minutes para que puedan terminar this activity. Vamos a utilizar los verbos that we have here in the box. Por ejemplo, stressed during the week. En mi caso, I feel, yo me siento, right? I feel stressed during the week. Pero puede ser que en su caso, no se siente estresada, entonces voy a utilizar I don't right, feel stressed during the week. Okay, let's complete it and then uh, you tell me the answers. Okay, let's do it. Well, that's five minutes.
Okay, guys, let's read some of your sentences. You start, uh, Gabriela, please, can you read yours? Okay. Yes, please, Gabriela. In negative or affirmative? The ones you have, all of them, the thing you have, the sentences. I feel stressed during the week. Mm -hmm. I, I have good friends. I live very active. active. Mm -hmm. I don't exercise in a gym. I don't eat a lot of meal. Mm -hmm. I sleep about eight hours every night. Mm -hmm. I spend a lot of time online or the computer. I do volunteer work in my area. Mm -hmm. uh, I drink a lot of water every day. Mm -hmm. And I read the newspaper in the morning. Okay, you read the newspaper. Okay, very good. Thank you, Gabriela. Let's listen another person. Please, Jonathan, can you uh, read yours? Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Stress during the the week. I have good friends in my town. Okay. I feel very actively. Mm -hmm. Esta no sé si está bien. Mm -hmm. I am exercise in a gym. Ahí estamos utilizando dos verbos, right? Tenemos que quitar. El am. I exercise, I exercise in a gym. Okay. Mm -hmm. I eat a lot of meat. Mm -hmm. I sleep mm -hmm. about eight hours every night. Okay. I spend a lot of time online or on the computer. Okay. I I volunteer work in my area. Mm -hmm. I drink a lot where every day. Okay. I read mm -hmm. the newspaper in the morning. Okay, perfect, Jonathan. Very good. Any other who wants to share the information? Alguien más quiere compartir the sentences? Anybody else? Fisher. Yes. En el uh -huh. caso de que solo lo queramos hacer eh, negativo, solo le agregamos, eh, por ejemplo, en la primera, I don't feel stressed during the, the week. Oh, ok. Sí. Le agregamos el don. Eh, ajá. Eh, igual, eh, solo dice unas en negativo y otras en positivo, pero las negativas tenía duda. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, en las six dice I don't sleep about eight or every night. Uh -huh. I don't sleep. Muy bien. Uh, I, I, I don't read the newspaper in the morning. Muy bien. Yes. It's okay. Ah, let, ah ok. Uh -huh. Los demás las tenía en positivo. Oh, ok. Perfect. Thank you, Karina. Ok. Vi que Magali levantó la mano. No sé, Magali, questions? Sí, esa okay. era mi pregunta. But, por ejemplo, en la Number 10, uh -huh. yo le hice negativa. Uh -huh. I don't not read the newspaper. Solo esa era la pregunta. Si antes del verbo iba el, 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 don't. el don't. Así es. Antes del verbo vamos a utilizar el don't en oraciones negativas. Right. Ok. Thank you. Ok. Muy bien. No questions, guys, because now vamos a pasar a los breakout rooms y su compañero va a presentar sus oraciones. Solo, solo yes, Jonathan. Uh -huh. aclarar eh, con respecto a la de eh, la que les mencioné, hay exercise, solamente así sería, ¿verdad? Exacto. No podemos tener dos verbos como usted lo había presentado. Se dijo, I am exercise. ¿Ok? Ok. I am exercise. No podemos tener el verbo to be con otro verbo. Right? I exercise every day. Uh -huh. En negativo sería, I don't exercise, Perfect. exercise in the gym. In the gym or in a gym. Uh -huh. 
Teacher, ¿y cómo sería la actividad que vamos a hacer ahorita? Ok, ah, ok. Vamos a, a uh, su compañero va a presentar sus oraciones. Por ejemplo, digamos, usted le, le, le presenta your information, right? Entonces viene su compañero y va a decir, Sofía doesn't feel stressed during the week. Sofía has good friends in her town, ¿verdad? Que, pero, veamos esto también. Cuando estemos hablando de ella o de él, tenemos que cambiar el positivo. Vamos dónde está también. ¿Ok? No sé si hay dudas. ¿O Repeat, please, por favor. Ok. Entonces, vamos a, bueno, lo, lo voy a escribir acá. Por ejemplo, digamos que estoy trabajando con Sofía. Entonces, Sofía me vale sus oraciones y yo le voy a hacer en, en, como explicando la información de ella. Por ejemplo, Sofía eh, doesn't, doesn't feel stress, stress during the week. Y voy con la segunda. Sofía o she también. Vamos a ver. She. She. Eh, do you have good friends, Sofía, in your town? Sofía. Yes, okay. ok, entonces como ella tiene, right? She has good, she has. good friends. Estoy hablando de ella. Voy a revisar bien el positivo. In her town. Y así nos vamos a ir cada oración. ¿Ok? Continue, teacher, continue. <laughs> you are going to continue, José. <laughs> <laughs> ok, so, ok, that was, uh, that, that is going to be the first activity. Esa va a ser la primera actividad. Y la segunda para como extra, vamos a completar esta sección, ok? Vamos a completar esta sección. Tengamos cuidado con eh, cuando nos diga not. Eso nos indica que va a ser una oración negativa. Ok. Ok. So let's go to the breakout rooms. Ahí también les voy a compartir en WhatsApp. Right? I'm going to be sharing this activity and all the previous one that we have been studying. Ok. So let's go. And uh, let's practice. Okay, let's go, guys.
Yo puse, I don't read. I don't read, puse yo. I don't read, read. Ajá. ¿Y usted? I read. I don't. Sí, I don't read. I don't read. Que sí, gastaba, digamos, mucho tiempo. Ahora no.
Okay, guys, welcome back. So let's finish uh, these activities and then you're going to present uh, the information uh, from your partner, right? Okay, so let's go with the first one. What do you have, uh, Alison, please, in the second one? Um, they, often, they often feel stressed, no. often, upper, yeah. feel, feel. They often feel stressed. Okay, excellent, Alison. Okay, let's go with the next one, please. Let's see, Magali, please, number three. Trang. Uh -huh. We have the verb work, right? She. Uh -huh. She. Solo el verbo, just the verb. Ah, solo el verbo, okay. Live. Tenemos el verbo, no, estamos en la tres, right? Number three. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Tran. Um, el tran no se me... Per... Ah, permítame. Es que solo copié la respuesta. Permítame. Ok. Sí. Ajá. Yo puse... Chilis. El verbo work, ¿verdad? Estamos en la actividad del complemento. Adelante. Sí. Yo estaba con la otra. Ah, ok, ok. No worries. Ok, ok. Eh, works, con S, works. That's right, works. Excellent. Ok, thank you, Magali. Please, Alejandra, number four. Don't, don't, perdón. Uh -huh. Sí. Doesn't. Doesn't, perdón. Uh -huh. Doesn't, sí. Doesn't. This, like this, this. así. This, this. this. ¿Con la sí. S y el verbo? Sí. No, yo no la puse con la S, exacto, pero no sé si es con la S. Exacto, exacto. Sí. Así es, Alejandra. <ríe> ok, very good. So, era para ver si me... Sí, sí, había dicho bien. Yeah, okay. <ríe> ok, thank you, Alejandra. Thank you. So, let's go with this next one, please. Um, Karina, please. Number five. Tran and Edgar both. ¿Cómo nos quedaría? De... Train and Edgar both uh, take. Take, right. Very good. Tenemos dos, right? Two uh, persons there, plural. Both take. Okay. Okay, Wendy, number six, please. They usually. They usually, Wendy. Eh, tenemos ese activado, ok, el micrófono, Wendy. Okay, no, wow. uh -huh. Creo que todavía tenemos desactivado el micrófono, Wendy. Ok, ahí está. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. They usually don't. That's no. right. Uh -huh. They usually don't. Uh -huh. Don't have. Yes, perfect. They usually don't have time. Very good. Okay, thank you. Okay, let's go with the next one. Dennis, please, number seven. For dinner, they often... What do you have in the bird? Eat. Okay, it's... Así, it's... No. See? It's... No. What is the... ¿Qué le tengo que quitar? What do I have to delete? Yes. Yes, that's right. Perfect, Dennis. Thank you. Okay, Raquel, please, number eight. Edgar, tenemos not have a job. Raquel. Edgar. Hola. Sí. Yes, number eight. Edgar. Mm. Yes, Stephanie. Nos va a ayudar Stephanie. Okay, Stephanie, please. Edgar doesn't have a job. Yeah, that's right. Edgar doesn't have a job. Okay, thank you, Stephanie. Okay, let's continue with the next one. Um, let's see. Mm. Alejandra, please, number nine. Every morning, he. 
goes. No yes, si he si goes. Okay. He goes. Goes. Okay, then we have number 10. Uh, maybe, please. Edgar usually. Runs. Yes, right. Runs. Luego tenemos on the weekends. Edgar and Tran. Relax. Relax. Okay, very Relax. good. Ahí está, we practice, practicamos las afirmativas, right, the negatives. Now it's time for you to speak, right? Voy a hablar yo, si no, you are going to speak. Ok, let's listen right now. Vamos a escuchar entonces al grupo number seven, Dennis and Wendy, please. Cinco oraciones, ok, only five per each person. Si no, no vamos a alcanzar to listen. Okay, Dennis and Wendy. Empiezo. Uh -huh. eh, she does. She doesn't feel stressed. Uh -huh. sí, okay, perdón, then, estamos hablando. Perdón, perdón. Sí. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Sí. She doesn't feel stressed. Uh -huh. eh, sí. She has good friends in your town. In his town, right? In his town. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, he has very exercise, very active. Okay, he feels, podemos también, he feels very active, right? Or, uh, uh -huh. Sí, sí, exacto. Uh -huh. La otra es que es, he exercises. Mm -hmm. He exercises. Mm -hmm. Exercise in a gym. Okay, and the last one? Is eat mm -hmm. along of me. Oh, okay, perfect. Thank you, Wendy. Ahora escuchemos las de Dennis, de la number six a la ten, please. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, number six. Mm -hmm. uh, she sleeps about eight hours every night. Mm -hmm. Okay. Seven. She. Spain, a lot of time online or on the company. Mm -hmm. A. She doesn't volunteer, volunteer work in my art, in your art. In her area. Oh, in she her doesn't area. do volunteer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Repeat, please. She doesn't do volunteer work in her area. Cambiamos el my for her. Okay. Mm -hmm. Number nine. Mm -hmm. She drinks a lot of water every day. Mm -hmm. And number ten. She reads. The newspaper in mm -hmm. the morning. Okay, perfect, Denise. Very good. Okay, very good, guys. Okay, mientras sus compañeros completan eh, esta parte, eh, vamos a completar esta actividad. Okay, mientras sus compañeros están presentando. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Vamos a, a describir nuestra canción favorita. Vamos a presentar el nombre de la canción, the name of the song, the artist or song, the songwriters or la banda también, the band y de qué se trata la canción. What is the song? What the song is about. Tenemos el ejemplo. My favorite song. Me voy a agregar aquí la G, sorry. Is Oye Mi Amor, right? The composer is Maná from Mexico. Y aquí, right? The song is about a person who is in love with a girl 
vamos a describir de qué se trata la canción. ¿Ok? Mientras sus compañeros presentan la actividad anterior, les voy a pedir que completemos esta sección. Los voy a compartir en el grupo de WhatsApp también. Let's see. Ok, let's continue with the next group, please. Group number one, Karina, eh, Raquel, and Stephanie. Eh, Raquel. Sí. Uh -huh. Ok. Eh, Stephanie, voy a hablar de Stephanie. Ok. Eh, she, she don't feel stress. Eh, she, she, a ver, she no. She doesn't feel stress in during the week. Mm -hmm. eh, she has good friends. Yo no tengo las oraciones completas. <laughs> she has good friends. Um, I, she, she has to live very actually activity. Mm -hmm. uh, she, My friend, she, does, yes, she doesn't exercise in a gym. And he has eat a lot of meat. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. The next person, please, uh, Raquel. She has good friends. Mm -hmm. She has good friends in her town. Mm -hmm. El micrófono, Raquel. El micrófono. Creo que sí. Tenemos problemas con el micrófono. Okay, Hello. Mm -hmm. Very active. Mm -hmm. She does that. In a gym. She doesn't go, right? Go a gym. Mm -hmm. To a gym. Mm -hmm. She has a bow a horse every night. Okay. She sleeps. She sleeps, right? She sleeps about eight hours. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Okay, it's okay, Raquel. Vamos a escuchar to Stephanie. Hello, Stephanie. Uh, Raquel. I, I take a vote with Raquel. Okay, okay. Five sentences. Okay. Five. okay. Mm -hmm. Raquel doesn't feel stress during the week. Mm -hmm. And she, uh, she doesn't She doesn't uh, sleep about eight hours every night. Mm -hmm. uh, she doesn't volunteer work in your uh, in her area, area, area. Mm -hmm. okay. and she doesn't read the new paper in the morning. Okay, perfect. She doesn't read the newspaper in the morning. Okay, perfect. And, okay. and she live. She live very actively. Activity. She lives right. Lives very actively. Mm -hmm. Very actively. Okay, very good, Stephanie. Thank okay. you. Okay, let's listen to the next group, Laura and maybe please go ahead with this. Hello. Um, Five sentences, please. Uh, sería a partir de las cinco. Yes, from five, from six to ten. Mm, I, I, uh, quiero ver. 
Ah, ahí sí me entra. <risas> okay, tenemos que hablar de la información de maybe, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. ah. Por ejemplo, she o maybe sleeps. Uh -huh. Ah, she has sleep about every, house every night. Uh -huh. She sleeps. Okay, she sleeps. Ah, sleep uh -huh. about eight hours every night. Yeah. Uh, seven. She spent uh -huh. a lot of online uh, hour on the computer. Yes, she spends. Ocho sería. She does. She, she does volunteer work in the area. Okay, in her area, verdad? In her area, perdón. In the nueve, she likes to drink a lot of water. Ma, eh, a lot of water. Every day. Okay. She drinks or she likes to drink. Muy bien. Excellent. Continue. The last one. Okay. And maybe please continue with your sentences. Desde la uno. From la one to one. five. Mm -hmm. Is the... Guadalupe doesn't feel stress during the weekend. Mm -hmm. She has good friends in my dozen. In here, so, in here, we're talking about the city, right? Ah, okay. In here, town. Mm -hmm. okay, continue. Ah, okay. Y de ahí sería, she has lived very actively. Uh -huh. y, la no, y la four, she has like exercise in I gym. Ok, vamos a cambiar la number three and four, right? She, she lives, lives very actively. She lives very actively. And number four, she exercise. Era, she eh, exercise. In a gym. Mm -hmm. La última, what do you have? Maybe. She has a lot of me. She has, ok, podemos decir she has, pero en este caso vamos a utilizar el verbo it. Okay, entonces vamos a quitar el has. She eats, right? She eats a lot of me. Of me. Uh -huh. Vamos a quitar el has y agregamos it. Okay, ok, thank you, maybe. Ok, let's listen the next group. Let's see eh, Roxana and Victor. Ok, go ahead, please, guys. Uh, please, Victor, de la number one to five, and Roxana, de la, uh, Roxana Lisset Vega, de la six, from six to ten. Okay. Ready, Victor? Okay. Uh, I, uh, she, She feel stressed during the week. Uh, she have, uh, she has, she has good friends in my top. Uh, she feel very active, actively. Uh, She, she doesn't exercise in a gym. She doesn't eat a lot of meat. Okay, perfect, Victor. Excellent. Okay, let's go with number six, Roxana. You said, please. Victor sleep about eight hours every night. 
he doesn't spend a lot of time online or on the computer. He, he doesn't volunteer work in, in, in this area. Mm -hmm. area. 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 Uh, he doesn't print a lot of work every day. Mm -hmm. Victor reads the newspaper in the morning. Okay, Victor reads the newspaper in the morning. Okay, perfect. Thank you. And Raquel, so let's continue with the next group. Uh, Gabriela and Jose Gomez, please go ahead, guys. Okay, Gabriela from 6 to 10 and Victor from 1 to 5. Uh, Jose sleeps about eight hours every night. He doesn't spend a lot of time online or on the computer. He does volunteer work in his area. He drinks a lot of water every day and he doesn't read the newspaper in the morning. Okay, what about you, uh, Vic, I'm sorry, uh, Jose Gomez? Six. From uh, one to five. One, two, one. She has streets during the week. One, I'm sorry, repeat, please. From one to five. From one to five. Two. One, two. Um, she, she good. She good friend. She has. Ah, uh, she has got friend in my okay. In, in her. My town. In her town. In her town. Mm -hmm. Okay. He one two e I A O. Que número otro? Three. Three. Okay. Mm -hmm. Three. Oh, I sorry. lie. I lie. She I lie. or she. She, she? she lie. She lie. Lives. Mm -hmm. She live. She, she lives very. Very active, actively. Mm -hmm. She is the number four. Mm -hmm. She doesn't exercise in the gym. Mm -hmm. and gym. Number five, uh, she doesn't eat a lot of meat. She doesn't eat a lot of meat. Okay, perfect. Thank you, yes. Jose. Okay. Okay, Bye. so let's see. I have some more. I got Jonathan and uh, Sofia Portillo. Okay, go ahead, ladies. Okay. Um, Jonathan feels stressed during the week. He has good friends in the in your town. He he feel very actively. Uh, Jonathan exercise in a gym, and he eats a lot of meat. Okay, perfect. Continue, please, Jonathan. Sophia doesn't sleep about eight or every night. Mm -hmm. She spends a lot. Sophia doesn't do volunteer work in the in her area. Mm -hmm. She drinks a lot a lot water every day every day. Sophia don't read the newspaper in the morning. Okay, the last one. Sophia, don't read or doesn't? Doesn't, sorry. Okay, perfect. Sophia doesn't read the newspaper. 
Okay, I got another group. Oh, okay, sorry. Eh, Alison and Andrea, nos vamos a quedar para el día de mañana, okay? Y también para el día de mañana vamos a, a presentar las canciones, right? Your favorite song. Así que, I hope you can uh, finish Alejandra, right? It's missing. Y también Andrea. Okay. Okay, so I solo paso la asistencia and then we finish. Let's see. Okay, so there is. Okay, is here Ana Silvia Hernandez. Ana Silvia. Ana Silvia. Se dormía. Ana Silvia. Nesta? Um, let's see. Uh, then, oh, sorry. I was saying another list. Okay, okay let's see. Okay, it's mine. Okay, Alejandra Abigail. Alejandra. Present. Oh, okay. Present. Okay, Alison. Present. Okay, thank you, Alison. Andrea Maria. Present. Okay, thank you. Recordemos que tenemos 10 minutos, right? Por si alguien se quiere quedar al final de la clase. Cynthia Esther. Cynthia. No, Cynthia. Eh, Denis Ulises. Yes, very good. Okay, eh, Dora Guadalupe is here. Dora. Okay, thank you, Dora. Thank you. Elizabeth Magali. Present. Magali. There you are. Okay, thank you. Emma Gloria Martinez, Emma, Emma, okay, there you are, Emma. And, uh, Gabriela Beatriz, Gabriela Beatriz. Present. Okay, thank you. Y Jonathan Alexis, Jonathan Alexis. Present. Okay, thank you. And uh, Jose Luis Gomez, Jose Luis Gomez. Present. Okay, thank you, Jose. Karina del Carmen, Karina del Carmen, presente. Ok, present. thank you. Maybe Marbelli, maybe. Present. Raquel Beatriz, Raquel Beatriz. Ok, present. there you are. Thank you. Roxana Lisset, Roxana. Present. Ok, thank you. Ruth, Verónica. Ruth, Verónica, ¿no está? No. Okay, Sophia Stephanie. Sophia Stephanie. Presente. There you are. Stephanie Raquel. Stephanie. No. Okay. Stephanie. Presente. Okay, thank you. Victor Manuel. Presente. Victor. Okay, thank you, Victor. And uh, Wendy Alvarado. Uh, there you are, Wendy. Thank you. Okay, okay, guys. See you tomorrow. Have a good night and uh, rest a lot, right? See you tomorrow. So, if you want to I'm going to stay here for 10 minutes, okay? See you guys. Good night. Bye. Good, good night. night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye, guys. Good night. Bye. Bye. See you. Good night. Good night.